The structure of avian lungs enables more oxygen to be extracted from the air, enabling birds to fly at altitudes where mammals would succumb to hypoxia. The lungs are made up of the trachea through which air enters the respiratory system. Air sacs positioned both at the anterior and posterior of the gas exchange surface act like bellows, keeping a continuous flow of air through the lungs. They allow air to be moved through the respiration system without having to expel air from the body. The lung is made up of parabronchi, which act as the gas exchange surface. The movement of air in avian lungs can be broken down into four parts. During inhalation one, air moves from outside the body through the trachea and into the posterior air sacs. In exhalation one, the air then flows from the posterior air sacs into the parabronchi of the lungs, where gas exchange takes place. From the lungs, the deoxygenated air then flows into the anterior air sacs, where it is held until exhalation 2, where the air is expelled from the body through the trachea. This system therefore creates a unidirectional flow of air across the lung, which means that all air that comes into contact with the gas exchange surface is oxygenated, making the lungs more efficient. Another adaptation of the avian respiratory system which increases efficiency is the cross-current blood flow across the air capillaries in the parabronchi of the lungs. The blood capillaries are arranged across the air capillaries where gas exchange occurs. This means that the rate of diffusion of oxygen into the blood is increased due to the sustained high concentration gradient.